Oh, hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today, I am going to teach you how to pull a double offset bend. This can be used to pass over objects. I am going to teach you how to do it the college way, which involves marking out on paper and using a folding ruler. Tools and materials needed to undertake the task scissor pipe benders with a 15 mil guide, a fine tip pen, a 15 mil pipe slice, 15 mil copper pipe, a folding ruler, a ruler, some paper. Yeah. We are going to pull a double offset bend over this object. Measure the height. In this case, it's 50 mil. Draw two parallel lines 50 millimetres apart to represent the height. Now measure the width of the object. In this case, it's 150 millimetres. We now measure 150 millimetres apart and draw two parallel lines. This will represent the block of wood that we are going to do the double pass over. over. Right, so just to recap, we've drawn the height and width of the piece of wood onto a piece of paper. And that's what our double offset is going to be based upon. Place the pipe onto the drawing and mark either side. This will be the centre of the bends. As a general rule, when doing an offset, if the offset is more than 50mm high, we do the bends. 45 degrees. If it's less than 50 mil, we do it 30 degrees. Using the folding ruler, we set the angle to 45 degrees. Using the preset angle of the folding ruler, 45 degrees, we place it onto the pipe bender with it touching both sides of the former and parallel with the copper pipe. We then mark the centre. This will be the centre of a 45 degree bend. So line up the line on your pipe to the centre mark that you just drew on the former and bend 45 degrees. Now do the same on the other mark on the pipe that you drew. Before you bend the second bend, make sure the pipe is straight. Now place the pipe back onto the drawing. Using a ruler, we draw a line across the bottom. We now turn the pipe over and do the same again. We now place the pipe back into the 
bender. With the line we just drew touching the outside of the former. You make sure the pipe is straight. And remember, because we bent it 45, we need to bend it back 45 degrees. We now place the other side of the pipe into the bender again with the line touching the outside of the former. You make sure the pipe is straight. We now bend it 45 degrees. That is how you do a double offset bend. Now it is your turn to have a go.